hello, hello. It's another episode of Egotters Live. I'm your host, Brian Rothy. Been your host all week so far. Mark Ostrick is out uh, doing a job in Chicago, so he's left me to uh, handle this business all by myself. So it's you and me. Um, let's, uh, let's get going. Um, it's Wednesday. Hope you're all having a great day. Uh, we've made it through half the week. It's hump day. So before we get started, I'm going to play, uh, actually, before we get started, I'm going to thank our sponsors who are Wirecast, Livestream, BitGravity, and Blue Microphones. Thank you all for uh, helping us to make this thing happen. And uh, now our show open and we'll get right down to it. Okay, here we go. Episode 14, Wednesday. I'm sorry if that was creepy, but I was just uh, looking for anybody who I may be out there watching. I hope somebody's watching out there. Um, we aren't getting much traffic in our uh, our chat room, so if you guys are out there watching, I do want you to uh, to log in and let us know what's going on. Let us know what you think. Let us know uh, what you had for breakfast. You know, let us know whatever you want to. Um, I hope that you're you're all having a great day. Um, I mentioned yesterday that I was going to play a slow Loris clip and I didn't get to it because my computer kind of crashed before I did get to it. Um, so I promised my fiance Tiffany that I would play this video and I do want to get to it, but I'm not sure if you guys have ever heard of a slow Loris because I hadn't heard of it until um, I came across this video. So if you're not sure what a slow Loris is, I've actually pulled up the Wikipedia page for you guys. Um, and we'll go to it right now and we'll just read a little bit of a description about what this curious animal, the slow loris is. So I'm going to go, uh, right now to it. Here's the Wikipedia page. So the slow loris, um, I guess it is a, uh, slow moving, uh, primate from Borneo in the Southern Philippines. Uh, let's see. They're hunted for their large eyes, which are prized for local traditional medicine, leaving them on the endangered species list. So that's what got me when I saw this video for the first time, is uh, these huge, crazy eyes, but they're really, really cute. Um, apparently, the Indonesian name for the slow loris is Malu Malu, which can be translated as shy one. Um, and then down here it says, you know, they can grow to be uh, about 15 inches and 4.4 pounds. So if you want to know anything about else about the slow loris, you can uh, you can check out that Wikipedia page for yourself. But I thought that was kind of interesting. Um, so I'm going to queue up this video for you. It's called, uh, what is it called? Slow loris loves getting tickled. Um, so let's see if we can, uh, if we can find this for you guys. Um, it is really cute. Like I said, I'd never heard of a slow loris before, but and I don't know where you come across one, even though that Wikipedia page just told me, but seriously, like in real life, where are you going to find one of these? And these people seem to have one next to their computer, like in bed with them. Uh, anyway, here is slow Loris getting tickled. Super cute. Check out these big eyes. Okay. Check them out now. <laughs> Tickle, tickle, tickle. Look at those eyes on that thing. Ah, come on. Look at that face. <laughs> Look at that face. <laughs> Doesn't it just kind of make you melt inside a little bit? It is super cute. You can't not think that thing is cute. So, Tiffany, that one was for you, the slow Loris video. Um, hope you guys liked it. Um, next on the list, I don't know if you guys know what Coachella is. It's a music festival that happens... Uh, 
once a year in Coachella Valley, California. I think it's Coachella Valley. Um, anyway, it happened, I think, uh, it ended a few days ago. But Coachella is known for having some big, big stars. It's a live music festival, and they host huge stars. A ton of people go. It's kind of like, uh, it's a lot like Woodstock, I think. I mean, I wasn't at Woodstock. I'm a little bit young for that. But uh, I imagine this has to be kind of the same idea. Like, you know, a bunch of dirty, dirty, sweaty hippies get together in the in the heat of the valley. And, uh, you know, they party, they drink, they do God knows what else. Um, but like I said, they drink. And this guy that I'm going to show you had a little too much to drink. Um, this video was sent to me earlier in the day. Uh, and I thought it was funny. I don't know if this is a hoax or what. Like, could this guy be so drunk that he really can't get this flip-flop on? The, the, uh, the clip is called Wasted Guy at Coachella 2010, Friday. So this happened last Friday, um, and you'll check it out. You tell me if you think it's fake or not. I'm not sure. They're, uh, it's up for debate, but if not, this guy, <laughs> he needs a little help. You'll see what I mean. Here you go. Drunk guy at Coachella putting on a flip-flop or trying to. Okay, so I'll, I'll do a little play-by-play -play here. He's he's lost his flip flop. He goes down for it, but he stumbles a little bit. People get in the way of the camera. Now he's trying to grab that flip flop, but he's had way way too much to drink. He's a little dizzy, a little woozy, and uh, can't quite. Uh, a little help, a little help. That was nice. Now he's trying to put it on his foot, trying to put it on his foot, and he gets it. He gets it. He's sitting there, and he needs to regain his thoughts. He's thinking about getting up. I think he's gonna go for it. Yeah, yeah, okay. Here he goes. Uh oh he's oh Okay, he lost his balance and lost his flip flops again. Now he's asking maybe for some help. We don't know. No idea what he's asking. He's finished. Finished trying to get those flip flops on. Oh boy. Okay, pick them up, picking them up, picking them up, trying to. Okay, now he's got them all lined up. All he needs to do is slide those feet in there. There's one. There's, there, nope, stepped on it, not in it. There's two. Yeah! And a cheer from the crowd, and he's got his flip-flop back. Um, I don't know, if you guys uh, are out there watching and you're, you know, and you see that chat room below, you got to make sure that you log in there and just let me know what you think. I want to know if you think it's fake. I want to know if you think it's real. I mean, I've known people in the past. In fact, I was talking to one of my good friends earlier and one of our e-guiders, Chris Brenner. Um, I was talking to him earlier about somebody we knew back in the day in school who kind of embellished his drunkenness a little bit. And, you know, it's not cool when people do that. Just, uh, try to put on a show. Um, but you tell me, do you think that guy was, like, for real? Really? I don't know. Hard to say. Um, now, the next one I'm going to play is a clip from Funny or Die. Uh, you may have heard of Brian Austin Green, and you've probably heard of Megan Fox. Um, they have done a recent, uh, a recent clip for Funny or Die about the situation here in California. And if you're not sure what I'm talking about, by situation I mean... Um, the education system it's it's kind of falling apart like so many things in this state and economy um and they've done this video to uh to kind of get people to get behind the education because there's you know few things are as important as education so um i'm gonna play this one for you guys and i hope that uh you go out and uh i hope this video speaks to you and you know you get in touch with you know your uh you know your state and uh try to try to help things out move things along a little bit so here's the uh it's it's called hot for teachers with megan fox and brian austin green so here you go hot for teachers i 
I know you guys are really upset about these budget cuts. Yes! 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 Hey, where are you? I'm sorry, I know, I'm still stuck here. I, people are freaking out about these budget cuts. It's like, it's like Attica in here. Okay, well, um, can you hurry? Because there's these two dads out here that are being a little bit creepy. I just want to get out of here before they ask me to sign the Transformers DVD. Well, just hide out in the library. I'll find you when I'm done here, okay? Okay. Oh, no, no, no. No, um, I'm sorry. I just thought this was the library. Wait, you guys don't have a teacher? She was laid off. And then they combine our class with another teacher's class. The kids in this room are multiplying faster than my headlights. What did she say? I don't know. Our Korean teaching assistant was laid off, too. All right, coming through. Coming through. Hi there. Jack Slater from Governor Schwarzenegger's office. Are you the teacher? Uh, no, no, I'm, uh, I'm just waiting for my boyfriend. Oh, well, you're their teacher now. Congrats. Got two more kids for your class. Wait, no, no, there's no more room in here. Ah, uh, good work. You know, um, Governor Schwarzenegger was a boy growing up in war-torn Austria. He didn't have a desk either. He went on to win the Mr. Olympia title eight times. Hmm? Think about that. Do they treat you guys like this every day? It's no wonder so many of us end up in prison. You guys got any trash for me? No, but Todd threw up in the corner. <sighs> I'll get the sawdust. What? You guys don't have a janitor to do that? Uh, the janitorial staff was let go with this last budget cut, but let's not forget that when Governor Schwarzenegger was a boy, he used to collect all the trash in his village and burn it to keep his family warm during the cold Austrian winters. That is a made-up fact. Uh, well, good news, they didn't cut the lunch program. Well, that's good. This, this is the new lunch program. All right, we got one more for you. Ooh, we got a hot one here. No, no, you can't leave him with us. Look at him, he needs help. Take him to the nurse. Nurse? The nurse was let go at the end of last year. There's all these kids and no nurse? Back in the early 90s, Governor Schwarzenegger cut a microchip out of the back of his own head with no anesthesia. Dude, that was the Terminator. I don't know what that is. <laughs> no, hey, 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 stop. Look, I think this kid is a diabetic. Oh, give him the candy bar. Here, eat this, OK? OK. Can you sign this Transformers DVD for my dad? No. Millions of students in California, including my son, are under attack from the Terminators in Sacramento who plan to cut $2.5 billion from our schools. $17 billion has already been slashed from education programs over the past two years. Time is running out. 23,000 California teachers have already been pink slipped. So make your voice heard. Call, write, and annoy the governor until he cries for his mommy. It's the only way to protect our kids and our future. All right, all right. So guys, definitely uh, check out saynotocuts.com because that is one effort that deserves all the support it can get. Um, like I said before, education is one of the most important things. And, uh, you know, our voices need to be heard. Those kids need to go to school because uh, they're not in school five days a week. That's one, uh, you know, that's one thing we can't live with. So um, that's going to do it for today's show. Egotters Live. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed yourselves. I hope you follow us at eGuiders for Twitter updates. Um, and every time you watch the show, log into the chat below the video player because we want to hear from you guys. So uh, we'll see you again tomorrow. Tomorrow will be Thursday. And um, have a great Wednesday evening. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>